While women and men have access to major assisted reproductive technologies, ART, such as in vitro fertilization, IVF, the ethical and legal discussions of their use are lacking. We need to ensure healthcare practitioners are aware about legal and ethical considerations that may impact their practice. Hello, I'm Dr. Thuraya Araisi, Vice Dean for Academic and Curricular Affairs at Wal Cornell Medicine, Qatar. Our series, Intersection of Law and Medicine, brings together healthcare professionals, ethical and legal experts to discuss and tackle regional challenges in this area. Our upcoming activity focuses on assisted reproductive technologies, addressing innovations in the field, as well as the impact of those innovations on the current ethical and legal frameworks. Hi, I'm Dr. Barry Solomon, co-director of Wild Cornell Medicine Qatar's Intersection of Law and Medicine series. There are big questions about how a potential law on assisted reproductive technology can align with international best practices while being adapted to the local cultural, religious and ethical context. At this event, a panel of local and international experts will examine international best practices concerning the use of assisted reproductive technology in practice. They'll appraise the advances in male infertility and the associated ethical concerns. They'll discuss the current legal and religious approaches governing the use of reproductive technologies in the Arabian Gulf. And they'll identify whether legislation is required in Qatar to govern the use of reproductive technology by clinicians. Overall, the aim is to outline the core legislative components required for assisted reproductive technology in Qatar and how they might affect practice.